In this video, we're going to go through an example of uh, setting up the initial tableau. But this time, uh, there's a slight difference because we've got an equality as part of my constraints. So here, we're maximizing x plus 2y. So we're going to put that as p equals x plus 2y, and then move everything onto uh, the left-hand side. So we're going to have p is equal to x plus 2y, take away x from both sides, take away 2y from both sides equals 0. OK, now this first inequality, x plus 3y is less than or equal to 200. Well, we know how to deal with that because we need to add on a slack variable to make it up to 200. Now, how are we going to deal with x plus y is equal to 80? Now, when you have an equality, how we're going to deal with that in the simplex algorithm is we split it up into two inequalities. So we split it up into two, where one of them is x plus y is less than or equal to 80, and the other one is x plus y is greater than or equal to 80. So essentially, you're tackling it from both sides. So you've got this line, x plus y equals 80. Or well, it would be going that way. <laughs> Let's, uh, be going that way, man. So you've got that line, x plus y is equal to 80. And essentially, you're trying to come at it from both directions. So from underneath and above, until to make sure that you go onto that line. OK, that's essentially what's going to be going on here. So we're going to have the x plus y is less than or equal to 80. So x plus y plus a slack variable is equal to 80. And then you've got this one, which would be x plus y take away a surplus variable plus an artificial variable is equal to 80. So you need two uh, equations here to deal with that one there. That's how you deal with an equality. The x is greater than or equal to 10. We will have x take away a surplus plus an artificial. And then for y is greater than or equal to 30, y take away a surplus plus an artificial is equal to 30. OK, now we need to define our variables that we have. So we've got uh, S1 and S2 are slack variables. So they're slack variables, and they're both greater than or equal to 0. We've got S3, S4, and S5 as surplus variables. So S3 is greater than or equal to 0, S4 is greater than or equal to 0, S5 is greater than or equal to 0. And then you've got the artificial variables A1, A2, A3. So A1, A2, A3 are artificial variables. Uh, where A1 is greater than or equal to 0, A2 is greater than or equal to 0, and A3 is greater than or equal to 0. OK. So then uh, we need to set up capital A, which is A1 plus A2 plus A3 in this case. And I need to add these three equations together. So x plus x is 2x, y plus y is 2y. Then we're going to have a take away S3, take away S4, take away S5, plus the three artificial variables, A1 plus A2 plus A3, which is A. And I'm going to put that at the front. And then that's going to be equal to 80 plus 10 plus 30. So that's going to be 120. So we've now got everything we need. So A, P, X, Y. Uh, we're going all the way to S5, aren't we? So S1, S2, S3, S4, S5. And we've got A1, A2, A3. And the right-hand side. OK, so first off, this one. So 1, 0, 2, 2, 
zero, zero, minus one, minus one, minus one, zero, 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 and the right-hand side is 120. Then we've got this one here, which is zero, one, minus one, minus two, zero, 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 zero. Then we've got this one. So zero, zero, one, three, uh, one, zero, 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 two hundred. Then we've got this one. Zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, 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 eighty. Then we've got this one. Zero, zero, one, one. Uh, then we've got zero, zero, minus one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, eighty. Then this one, so zero, zero, one, zero, 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 minus one, zero, zero, one, zero, ten. And the last one, uh, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 minus one, zero, zero, one, thirty. Okay, and that's my initial tableau uh, for the two-stage simplex that you would then need to do uh, to solve this LP problem. Um, I can tell you now, this one's easier just to draw rather than uh, um, actually have to do it via the simplex algorithm. But that is how you would set it up in the initial tableau.